Rex is eating. I'm Corbin. I'm Bree. And follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter for juicy content. It's so Thank you so Patreon. You saw this first, like always. It's true. Uh, and there's exclusive content on there, stuff that gets blocked. A lot of our stuff gets blocked because. It's true, but then Corbin does his magic, and you know what happens? In your face, blockers. Yeah. <laughs> Had to do that last night. Yeah. Uh, but. Today, uh, we are doing a movie review. Dun 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 dun. A highly requested one for for a long time. Awful, awful, awful long time. Ever since the trailer was spoiled for me. Yep. Um, but it's uh, Kahani. But I will say and have said since that day, stupid babies have been gorgeous. Yes, very kind of. You. Have not not spoiled one since. So I'm, I'm grateful. Uh, but it's uh, directed by Sujoy Gosh. Sujoy Gosh. Yeah, you're getting pretty good. Um, Which sucks because I like the Corbinizations, but the channel okay. is over now. Yeah, goodbye everybody. Uh, night night. Obviously starring Vidya. Yeah, ba Balan, Balan, uh, which I find really interesting that that character name is the same character name as her real name and the whole play on the V sound and the B sound. Oh yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yes. And then obvious and no. And of course, no Which I forgot or didn't know. I don't know. Did oh you really? Did you remember that he was in it? I did. Okay, I did. Yeah, I was uh, waiting for no When to I saw it, when I saw his name at the beginning, I was like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, I remembered he was in it, and then I was just waiting for him to appear. Uh, and this was a very Gary Oldman role too. Very. I mean, come on, very, very much. Uh, so. Do you want to read the synopsis? Sure. The synopsis is this, in case you didn't know. <laughs> A pregnant woman's search for her missing husband takes her from London to Calcutta, but everyone she questions desires, wait a minute, denies, sorry, <laughs> but everyone she questions denies having ever met him. That's a good synopsis. It is. There. Um, and 100% spoiler review. Wait a minute. Oh, that's a great poster. It is. That's a great poster. You see the touches they did on that to... We'll talk about that in a second. Yeah, uh, uh, spoiler review, everybody. Obviously, 100% spoiler. If you yeah. haven't seen this, see it. I think you all have seen this. Yeah. I think it's her most popular Except for film. my dad. Uh, <laughs> and I want to know, what was the... Because I remember you got spoiled, but I, I didn't did. know what they said. What did they say in the, in the... One of the comments when I was looking through the comments, because I will do that. I will look after we post one. Yeah. I'll let time go by so there's comments, yeah. and then I'll go into the comments and see what people are saying and reply and respond yeah, and have yeah, a touch yeah, with yeah. the Super Babies. Somebody in the comments, first thing they say right out the gate, she's not pregnant, she's faking it. I'm like, gotcha. I thought that Thanks. Was, I thought it was something around that. Well, Flat well, out. She's while, not pregnant. While I was watching it, I was like, I'm wondering if this is what they said. Yeah. Um, but I'm hoping it didn't ruin the film for you. It. Um, I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> but yes, uh, this was a, and also this director directed Bad Luck. Yes. I know, I saw that, that there's in which we loved. Yes, this guy's very good at directing. Very thrillers. good director. Uh, this guy knows how to direct thrillers. I mean, I'm sure he knows how to direct other stuff. Other stuff, the, yeah, but the thrillers really that really good The stuff with director. twists in it. Yep. Uh, and I was... We'll talk I, about that. I waited on watching this one because it got spoiled for Rick. Uh, and not me, I, it did not get spoiled for me. But I wanted to see if I could wait and he's old and see if he would forget. And so I'm not that old. <laughs> did you know when I suggested Kahani it was the one that we was spoiled, or did you know when you started watching it? No, I never. You knew. I it. always knew. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, but I also will say this because I had commented a reaction or two later, mm -hmm. and Stupid Baby saw I was genuinely pissed off because mm -hmm. my motto was let the movie tell the story. And thankfully, you all have been gloriously beautiful and not ruining films. Uh, so many stupid babies replied and said, even though you know that, mm -hmm. please watch it because there's a lot more stuff you don't know that you'll appreciate. It's not the, it's not the only twist. It's not the end-all be-all of the twist. It's a yeah. huge twist. Yeah, of course. But it isn't the only twist. And I'm grateful that uh, we followed through on it and watched it. Yeah. So. We, so we can talk about uh, one. Let's start with uh, her. Let's, her performance. Let's start with her. Uh, you guys, uh, when we reacted to... Mission Mongol. Mm -hmm. uh, they got mad at me because I didn't, didn't see her. I didn't put her name in the title. Yeah. Uh, because I knew Topsy, and we've seen Topsy in a bunch and of stuff. A couple and of we things. love Topsy. Yep. Um, and they, some people got mad. They were like, "You, why would you put Topsy and not put I her? I know, and not put she's, her. She's a god. Topsy's a peasant. Blah yeah, blah exactly. blah blah blah. She's been acting before <laughs> Topsy was even born. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure. This is our first experience with her. 
She's a phenomenal actress. Yep. She has amazing screen Bands. presence. Freaking tastic um, actress. She immediately jumped to the top of the list for me of yeah. actresses I'm excited about. Yeah, to, to learn more about and yeah. to what, like, just, I always say it, let us know what else we should react to of hers. But yeah. uh, her performance was in so nuanced, especially knowing the whole thing after you finish it and, yeah. and, and everything like that. All the little stuff she added and all the, the little details. She's very small, but she's also very motherly. She Great played listener. that very well. Great um, listener. She's a terrific like any she she never had a false moment. Real no. She's, she's like I, I can't I can't rant about her enough. She not, great actress. Period. I mean, this film would have been great even without her in terms I agree. of agree. Like any if like an actor who didn't put the performance she did. If they were a solid actor, the role itself was written and the story is written so well. Yeah. This must, but I she mean, obviously added. To yeah, it. but reading the script, she just must have oh, been yeah. like. And same with Nawaza. Anybody in this thing must have just gone, let's get working, man. Because mm -hmm. the script was great, the story's great. Yeah. And yeah, her and performance was was just as it should. And I, I did a little research about her. Mm -hmm. and, and this is one of my most favorite things about this film. And I have a lot of favorite things about this I, film. Because yeah, I, I, I loved it. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> um, <laughs> one of my favorite things about this film is this is probably, okay, remember when we reviewed DevDos? Mm -hmm. I said there was levels of it that we could understand because of our appreciate nights. We could appreciate it in a certain respect now because we had had some level of immersion into India and India culture and spirituality and everything else, but still felt like there was a whole myriad of things we didn't grasp. This was probably the first film I saw where I had had enough exposure and homework about the setting, the context, and some of the underlying things that we would have previously missed where I really could enjoy this at a deep, deep level. Yeah. And we'll talk about it in a second. Yeah. Uh, but there's really nothing to dislike about this yeah. movie. And we could talk about Nawazuddin as well. This guy... Oh, I have one thing I could say I dislike. We'll talk okay, about it later. Fun. But this, yeah, this guy. This guy, let's man, go. he's... Let's just... Hey, I know you guys don't care about Hollywood. I mean, some of you care about Hollywood. But Hollywood, get your shit together and get this guy in any film possible. Yep. Get him in a Bond film. He could be one of the best, best Bond, Bond villains, villains of ever. all time. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He, I mean, who, who's his? Okay. Here's the thing. I know. Like I guess I know you don't care. He, he may not care. Yeah. He may not care. Like I know Alia has said that she would like to branch out and yeah, extend yeah. that. She's actually been here. She would like to penetrate the American market in cinema, which she should. Yes. She's good enough to do that because yes. it's it's the level is that good. Nawazuddin is an Oscar level actor who if he got the right role here would become a household name It was one of the great character actors around in cinema and freaking should be known here that way. Yep 100% yeah, it, it, and it makes me every time I watch it even more uh, Doesn't need it. No, it doesn't ever need to no, be no, an no, it. We're, ever. Just, we're just mad that Americans don't Doesn't know, know about, about him. him. And they're not going to, sadly, or, because they're not going to watch Indian cinema. Yeah, but we, we can ignorant. rattle off ten um, names that we feel that way. Yeah, but he, he's at the top of my list. Yeah, he's so good. Because great. he's so good. Uh, he, he doesn't try. Uh, no. <laughs> like, he's very just uh, natural with all of his performances, but he's so... He has the uh, the screen presence we said before of an Al Pacino. Yes, uh, just the <laughs> magnetism. The camera loves him, and he is a he, he's a minor role in it. I mean, he's supporting, I suppose. It's a supporting role. He's a supporting role. Yeah. So it's not like he's uh, vi uh, Vidya. Uh, Vidya. Yeah, she's the star. Uh, she's, she's got the lead role, and the co-star would be the other guy who plays yeah. the cop. That's who did well, also, who who also very good job. Very very well. Very good job. Um, but he. His performances, and he had a, a, the twists of his own in this story, which was yeah. fun. Is he good? Is he bad? Yeah. What's the deal with so this So now guy? we can talk about that freaking director, man. You know how to play a film to where, because obviously when you do a thriller and you're trying to guess what's going on, right? you have to be ahead of the audience because By ten I, that's how I'm... Am watching films, especially thrillers. That yeah. it's trying to do of twists. Of course, you're trying Some, to guess what's like, going okay, on. what's going to happen here. Right. And I called her not being pregnant pretty early. Uh huh. Because um, I was like, that's probably. And there's a whole bunch of hints that mm -hmm. blah blah blah. There's other. There's a very early hint. Yeah. About double identity when she's taking the, ta the not the taxi ride. She's getting a ride from what's his name, the the, the police officer uh, that she's talking to. The character name and the actor name. 
This are uh, are my but the but but the but. No. That's not it. That's not the name. No. Go I down. Think, no, I think that. Oh, inspect no. this one. No, right here. Yeah, Rana. Thank you. Uh, Rana. Yeah. She's driving with Rana very early. She's just arrived in Calcutta, and she's talking to him about your name is Rana, but it says this on the name tag, and he explains that that Bengali people have two names. They have the proper name, and they have the name that's most common when they're used. That's it. And that she cool says, factor. she says something to the effect of interesting two identities and it's just a little little wink wink yeah and so uh, like i called that from a pretty early uh but it was still shocking to see her get kicked in the stomach you know uh, <laughs> it's like oh made me want to jump through the screen and yeah. beat the crap out of right that. yeah with um, a metal pipe but and then when she, I was like, she's going to take off her belly. It's, there's something going to, because I, I thought that. I felt that. But then I, there's a whole mirage of things I didn't. I didn't get the Nawazuddin twist. I thought he was the bad guy. So I did too. I thought he was part of the bad team. That's that's a fun thing to learn. Like he's a, he was bad, but he's actually the good guy. Right. And then at the end, I was like, oh, so why is she doing it? I was like, because I thought her husband was like a spy. Mm -hmm. But it just so happened that he was kind of almost caught up in a mistake. Yeah, and died on that train. Yeah. And so this for her was to avenge yeah. and she what had happened. She for her, and she lost her child because of it, because yeah. of the strain and the stress of what had taken place. So for her, man, she rips, she knocks the gun out of his hand, mm -hmm. and she jabs the thing in his foot, and then when she jabs the thing in his neck, I shouted, heck yeah! <laughs> and then, this is so badass, He's going away, she's broken his leg, and he's running, and in slow-mo, she's following him, cool as a cucumber. Oh yeah, and I love that. She busts out. <laughs> <laughs> and, she's, and he's, <laughs> loved it. Yeah. Loved it. And then she just emptied her gun into it. Yeah. Just uh, fantastic. Fantastic ending, so I can't speak enough to this, this director. Uh, yeah, brilliant uh, direction. We truly we've great seen thriller direction. Two of your films now, I believe. Yeah. Um, the two things that immediately jumped out of you with the film were well, three things that jumped out of me immediately. First was her acting. Yes. I immediately knew this is a really, really talented and actress. And the Wazdens, of course. Yeah, but he came later. I'm that, talking like that the, goes first, the first ten minutes of the film. She's a great listener. She's a great actress. I can't wait to watch this film because I'm going to enjoy her. This guy knows how to direct. Yep. And I really, a really big thing for me, again, this goes back to what I said earlier in regard to f having a more, a more, a deeper appreciation of this film than I would have months ago. Yeah. Because I have, I have begun to be exposed to a lot more of what's going, particularly Bengali film and culture in the city of Calcutta, right? Stuff that I would just, I've been exposed to that. Yeah. And what I discuss, and this particular uh, festival and the symbolism of what takes place when the, the 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 Durga Puja that takes place in the fall like see the poster mm -hmm. they're conveying she is goddess Durga yeah, yeah with the that, eight arms yeah they kept they kept alluding to that in the film 100% uh, which was which and I did some homework on her and discovered that for example if we were Indian and we were waiting for this film to come out and we saw her in this role, remember when people said Akshay was perfect for Kasari? Yeah. Because of the, the, the national pride he brings to a role. Yeah. And he can portray a particular kind of role because he's already portrayed things and has a persona. She has, at this point, already done some films about women empowerment. Okay. So she's already an actress that cinema goers would look at and go, oh, mm -hmm. who else would you want to have play? It's like if we were doing it here, I would think of, a, think of an actress that would immediately come to mind who's always playing these women that are empowered yeah. and flipping the tables on men. Yeah. Uh, I don't know in, in that regard, but I, I, I did have a thought while watching it, it not saying they're the same actress at all, but just the, the kind of presence and talent she reminds me of is Amy Adams. Sure. I actually, um, in, in many respects, because she's, I don't know. A young Streepa, even. Yeah, she has it. You know who else she reminds me of a bit? And I think it's because of the dark eyes and dark hair. Mm. There's some Natalie Portman strength yeah. going on in there. Because Natalie, Natalie Portman can play phenomenal. a really strong woman. Oh, yeah. Uh, and she conveys. And there were times she gave glimmers of it that were so gorgeous. Like the first time she's talking to Nawazuddin, up until that point, she's playing a very confident woman who's looking for her husband. But she flips a switch with him when he's saying to her, you don't know who you're dealing with. And she basically looks at him and says, yeah, you don't know who you're dealing with. And Nawazuddin just gets a little, like, what? Yeah. 
How, why are you talking to me like that? And you know inside she's going because that I, was, could, that I could was, off you right now, pal. That scene was similar. Uh, the scene between Nawaz and her, just them yeah, two, yeah. reminded me a lot of uh, Joker and Batman. Kind of just watching yeah, yeah, yeah. two actors, two actors just do their thing, go at it, and that's well, I love it. I love yeah. it so much. <laughs> just two, absolutely, two really, really, really good actors just kind of throwing, throwing blows. So yeah, kind of like a boxing match. Absolutely. Uh, and so I, I, I loved it, uh, and I thought she did a phenomenal job. And I loved. I here's the other thing I loved at the outset. I loved the uh, as I said, her acting, the direction, and the other thing I loved from beginning to end, and especially as the film concluded. Mm. I loved how this director utilized and made Calcutta a, a character in the film mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and conveyed not only the sense of the culture, mm -hmm. but as I've done research and talked with people who are from there, the, the significance of this particular festival at this time of year and what it represents and how this character that she portrays is the embodiment of this goddess that is celebrated at this time mm -hmm. and that she actually does what she does during the festival and winds up going into the parade and blending in and having the colors put on her and then at the end it's Big B doing the narration with the goddess being submerged which they do at the end mm -hmm. this was the first time I could fully I feel appreciate a film from India where a director was adding subtle nuances of the culture and the spirituality and a festival mm -hmm. and tying it into the story in such a way that you recognize the artistic brilliance of the script, the story and the direction and the score and the portray everybody together where uh, it's a f just like the end. I felt as fully immersed in the story yep. and could capture the larger brilliance of the director taking the story and marrying it to this festival so that it was a celebration of both movie making. And I got to imagine that people from Calcutta have got to be really proud of this film and the way it portrays them and their city and this festival that's so important to them. I just, this, this is one of my favorite films we've seen. Um, uh, this would be at the top, uh, top three, top five of films I would recommend to an American who has never 100%. seen any Indonesian cinema. 100%. Because it would be a good blend Yes, what they know, because it needs to be something similar in terms of style of film right. to something they're familiar with. Correct. You can't just show them DevDoss. No, they would, they, or Lagan, they yeah. would lose their minds over yeah. it. Yeah. Um, you, you need to be ex exposed more. Yes. But this kind of film, great. I'm surprised Hollywood hasn't taken this idea, honestly. They really um, could. But, <laughs> it, but the idea of it doesn't, but uh, it doesn't the, work. The acting is all brilliant. The directing, the score even, it's, it's a subtle score. But it, it, Very. it, it helps the, 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 the film move along. It does. Which is a, a, as impressive as a big score yeah in, yeah in, in, and, in, and and even yeah. as we're learning because we've we've learned before we started doing the channel we just knew india mm -hmm. and then we began to realize oh there's east india and there's south india and there's north india and they're completely diverse differences of the rural versus the urban and then there's the and so this regionally the bengali of this i know reading some notes because we haven't um jumped into this filmmaker's uh uh work but Sajit Ray, if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, the legend of Bengali cinema, we did the trilogy thing that we had done that they haven't seen because as happens, well, Patreon yeah. has seen it. Yeah, Patreon. Yeah, Patreon has seen got it. It got copyrighted. It got copyrighted, but it'll be here. Uh, there are apparently hints and little celebrations that this director does that are shout outs mm -hmm. to that director's films. Yeah. That if we were watching, for example, a contemporary director who started doing some things that were Hitchcockian, mm -hmm. we, we as American cinema lovers would go, I loved his shout outs to Hitchcock. Mm -hmm. Apparently this director, and that makes me, I can get emotional. The love he has for the artistry and the cinema of this region of India is just to me as about as beautiful as it gets. Yeah, I would love to delve one more into her, obviously, oh. and then his work as well. Uh, so let us know for both of them which of her films we should uh, react to next or watch, and then his films as well. Yeah. Um, the only the only uh, thing there's I didn't a second like, one. The only yeah there was. You know what I learned this about it. Talk about success. Weird. 
They filmed this thing on a shoestring budget of about a million American dollars. <clears throat> oh, wow. That's not a lot. And it made $15 million in its first couple of weeks. Really? Yeah, American by ratio. Uh, the only thing I didn't like about it okay. were some of the really small roles were bad. Really small. Oops. Like the secretary at the office that they went to talk to every once in a while who had maybe five lines. Oh. The guy at the Mona Lisa at the front desk. Oh. I'm talking, that's super, 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 super nitpicky that I wouldn't even mention to people when I'm recommending the movie because they probably wouldn't even notice. That's yeah. me being no, they, uber it, critical. Those didn't bother me too much. Yeah, it was, uh, I'm being uber, uber. I just got to pinpoint it to say that's the only thing that takes it from being just almost a perfect Film for I, me. I give it an A plus. A plus. One hundred percent. I give this an A plus. One, one of my favorites. Just again. I would. I'm, I'm actually going to because you know who. Uh, you shall not be named. She got. She, she was like, you watched that without me. And I want. I want Ashley and Alexis yeah, to so. see this as well. And yeah. I would put this for example because it's similar. I feel this exact same way you do when I'm recommending movies to people here. I will. I will tell them which ones I think they'll ingest because it'll be more palatable to their cinema appetites. Mm -hmm. Like I think Gully Boy is extremely palatable for American cinema. Yeah. And this one even more. To it. This one even more. This so one even more because so. of the runtime. Exactly. Yeah. And so so is Pink. Yeah. And so is Bad Love. Very similar. But example, as as much as this is similar to say Pink and Bad Love because it's a thriller, uh, this doesn't have the, the the legal aspect of it. But this one is so much more yeah. immersed and, and it's sapping just, and, and it's dripping with Indian culture and, it's and Bengali fun. culture. It's and just it's fun. fun too. I mean, because thrillers that you don't know what's coming is fun. And even with somebody who got it completely spoiled, once again, I didn't. Yeah. Uh, even with the spoiler. You can just, you can still enjoy it because it's such a well-made film. And it, this movie has an impact for me that's, that's much deeper because yeah. I have had a particular focus of what I've been looking at and reading about in regard to Calcutta and Bengali life and Bengali filmmaking. And uh, the, that ending picture for me where the goddess is being submerged. Yeah. Um, and the symbolism of that and knowing what that means and knowing what she sent and what this particular festival means This had a much deeper impact on me that if I had watched this three months ago Oh, yeah, wouldn't have hit me the same way. I mean it would have been a good film. It would have been a great film That's what's beautiful yeah. about it is it, it it's both a film that the average American could see and love mm -hmm. But the person who's begun to become immersed particularly in this part of India yeah. It was like a providentially beautiful yeah. moment to see this movie for me right now. So let us know what else we should watch and review next of his films uh, and her films as well. I absolutely want to see so much more of her Both work. of them. Both of them. And obviously Nawaz. You know how we feel about Nawaz. But of course we're going to watch a bunch of his stuff. So, yeah. uh, 